Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this quick tip, I want to talk to you quickly about the background object. Okay, so in our scene, we've got uh, just a head model from the content browser and a couple of lights. Uh, so this is our scene, and this is how it renders. Great. So the background object, let's create one. Let's go to uh, background, put that in our scene here, and let's create a material. And we'll just call this material background. And uh, let's turn off the reflectance channel. We don't really need that. Okay, so in the color channel here, if I open up and add a background to this and apply this material to our background, the background is visible in the viewport, which is exactly what you'd expect. And it also works just as well if we take this texture, copy it, turn off the color channel and dump it in our luminance channel. It also works there and that's absolutely fine but what if we want to create our own background from a gradient or something like that something using cinema 4d's internal shaders well let's clear this out and let's do the same for the color as well what we can do is uh, we go to color choose a gradient and this gradient i'm going to choose a circular gradient so we can create a kind of vignette effect and uh, let's just make this the, the uh, digital meat colors okay so there we go and for this one we'll just get rid of that and we'll copy this control drag that up there and we'll make this darker I'll bring it right down here like this something like that so we get something like this now this material is actually on our background. Uh, let me just turn off the luminance channel there. So it's just the color channel working. If we dump that on our background now, you'll see that it's not visible in the viewport, which is kind of annoying because if you want to do, uh, you know, set your scene up so you can see where the vignette is around this head, um, that's kind of annoying. But there is a workaround for this. So let's delete our background object and use a sky object instead. So if we create a sky, and then apply our material to our sky. Uh, it's not going to be projected correctly, but if we go into our tag and say frontal projection, it's exactly like we had our background with the image a minute ago. So there you have it, guys. That's uh, just something I wanted to share quickly with you. It's a workaround to get a um, you know internal shader working as a background in the editor window. All right, as always, check out digitalmeet.uk. Um, you can follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter and the like. Link's in the description. And if you want to become a Prime member, you can go to digitalmeet.uk and uh, sign up there. Um, in fact, I've just added a new Espresso tutorial for the Prime members. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye. Bye.